Hello, I'm Reed Noun Zero, and today we're going to be doing a trailer reaction to the Little Mermaid official teaser trailer that just released yesterday. I don't have any high hopes for this because we already know that gingers are being taken out and replaced with black women for every single ginger role that has been put out in Hollywood, and I don't expect this to be any different. So we're going to go through here, watch it, give my reaction, give my thoughts. Here we go. Didn't even know Disney was around for a hundred years. They're trying very hard to make this look realistic, but we know damn well that it's all CG. Yeah, this this is eh. Of course, you know, Disney live action remakes aren't great. The fin work does not look anywhere close to so, like, dude, it's supposed to be a basic green color. I don't know what y'all are going for. Okay, so we get in the scene where she has all the, all the items she's gathered. It's kind of like right before that scene when she starts singing about the people above. If that's supposed to be flounder right there, that looks like total shit. I will still say Jody Benson is still a better singer than, than Halle Bailey. By a long shot. Again, why does she have dreads? Why did they give her dreads? Why doesn't she just have regular long, long flowing red hair? They tried very hard to do this red hair thing. It does not look very good at all. It looks more, it looks like a darker red. It's supposed to be a bright red. Like they were, they, they, they're not even trying. Her singing is not very good, and honestly, her makeup is terrible. Also, Ariel has green... If I'm not mistaken, Ariel has green eyes. Why does she still have brown eyes? Like, you couldn't give her enough contacts to give her green eyes? Yeah. So, we're gonna jump right over here which i actually did send out a tweet right here from this account called discussing film that says halle bailey looks exactly like ariel no she doesn't complete with the red locks no she has red she has like dark reddish dreads this looks nothing like her this nothing incredible singing not really I've heard better. Jody Benson is like a thousand times better at singing than Halle Bailey. And the film already seems very close to the anime version. No, it doesn't. Because Flounder looks like absolute shit as well. Flounder doesn't even look like Flounder. It looks like a goddamn just generic fish. I responded, where? Ariel has bright red hair, is white, and sings better than Halle Bailey. Jody Benson is a thousand times better singer than she will ever be. Disney and Hollywood love giving black women the sloppy seconds of white people care because they only see legitimacy in white characters. They've been doing this crap so consistently, it, it's like it's like a joke at this point. But all these live action remakes are just absolute shit. I thought Aladdin was decent. I don't even remember Lion King at all. I did watch it. I don't even remember it at all. Um, Pinocchio just recently came out. Seems to be getting absolutely destroyed. Because once again, live action just kind of sucks with Disney movies. Mulan, they thanked, 
the 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 CCP for filming in camps in uh, in, in you know China or whatever. It's like they, they just just stop. Like just just they made they remade Cinderella twice. Cinderella the last Cinderella had a what well, non-binary. Uh, they had Billy Porter as the very godmother. We'll, we'll just say that. It's like you're not a godmother if you're not female. This doesn't make any sense. Like, just stop with the remakes, Disney. Just make something new. Ryan the Last Dragon was decent. You were heading in the right direction with that one. Lightyear was a disaster as well. Like, y'all just y'all just cannot get it together, man. And this looks like absolute shit. Because you could have easily had better better choice of actress who more resembled the character it said you decided to you know black i guess blackwash this character because this is exactly what you guys do you 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 take every single ginger character in anything in any kind of media and you just you give it to a black woman they did also this did this with black canary well you know dc did dc did this with black canary and there's been many other like casting choices across all of Hollywood where you're just consistently taking these redhead characters and you just you're just race swapping them and you think it's okay to take source material, things that have already been established, and you're just race swapping them and then calling it good and it's not. The original Little Mermaid was fantastic. It was a perfect film in every single way. And this just is it's just an abomination like every other Disney remake that came has come out thus far. But what you should be doing instead, instead of giving your money to Disney, give your money to ISO number one because this is actually original characters, original content made by a great creator and it's guaranteed to be a great product from a great creator who will not steer you wrong, who won't tell you they hate you. So give your money to something like this and you will not be disappointed in the slightest, unlike this garbage right here. This is garbage and I hope nobody watches it. I hope nobody gives it money. But if you do decide to do that, that's on you. It's not my money. You do what you want. I will not be watching this. I don't give a shit. I don't pay for Disney+. Plus. I don't care a fuck about anything coming out of Disney as of late. So, because all the Marvel shows have been terrible. All the Disney stuff has been terrible. And this just looks absolutely terrible. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like, comment below, like I said. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.